Good morning, I hope you're doing really well. Today is a Saturday and I'm just on my way to a boxing class. Very different. I haven't actually, I've never done an actual boxing class. I don't know how many people will be in it or if it'll be like a small one, but I've just realized on my way there, I was like, I don't have any boxing gloves. I need to pick some up somehow on the way. I think I go past a sports direct. So I'm just gonna pop in there. At least I realize now, like I could have got to the actual class and then, um, realised and not even been able to participate like I don't think I think it's unhygienic isn't it if you were to share boxing gloves but anywho I'm gonna give that a go I'll try and get some clips but the gym I go to is it's like a nightclub it's really dark I absolutely love it when I first went in I couldn't tell I was like mm, don't know about this like you can barely see the weights it's that dark I go there and I've got my music on my pre-workout like it's such a vibe so I've been really enjoying that and I've just got into Harrogate now. I've been doing a voiceover this week and I've been redoing it and redoing it because I can't quite get it right like for some work stuff that I'm working on uh, this project that is has taken me over a year and I kid you not I think I've lost my voice I don't know whether it's that and a mixture of just chatting so much this week and I can't quite work it out but I've got a bit of a husk I quite like it I had some breakfast this morning so I'm fueled up and I haven't had any pre-workout or anything I've just got some water with me but yeah I thought I'd just bring you along as well today I need to go get my nails done I'd like to go for a massage at some point all right where am I going here I went on a divine walk this morning the skies are just beautiful today like pure blue skies and that just does my wonders does my wonders does wonders for my mood when the sun is out i'm just a different person or when the skies are just blue i just feel so good and i feel like this is my favorite time of year i'm so productive i feel so happy and just content with life going to run to sports direct i've parked in loading i think i can park there Yeah, um, and small to medium. Just got I just got long nails. That was the only thing. Mm. Okay, these will do. We've got some nice red gloves, and I just tried them on real quick, and they fit fine. It was just my nails I was concerned about. Like my face is just wet through. That was so much fun. Oh my god, I can't. My hands are literally shaking. Like I've just had to pull over. But my goodness, that was so good. I feel like I'm on such a high. Like the post-workout endorphins day are up there today. That was so much fun, and I'm definitely going to do that more. I think whenever, like on a Saturday, like I, I definitely I was probably going to drive to the gym, do my own session, but I wasn't really quite feeling it. Like I am a little bit tired physically and my rest day is tomorrow. So it made so much sense just to do jump in a class and it was the boxing and conditioning class, 45 minutes. It went so quick and I really felt like I pushed myself. I think when you're in a group as well, you just tend to push yourself a lot more and it's just more enjoyable. So I loved that just to mix things up. I do prefer like my own weight training, obviously most of the time. And then just throwing in like a class like that. If you're trying to up your cardiovascular, 
hair off and get generally fitter I would really recommend just throwing in a few classes and it's also a good way to meet new people if you're wanting to meet more like-minded people into fitness say the coach guy was really good he it, there was an odd number so I was just like punching him it was quite funny though because I literally felt so thrown in the deep end there was no like pep. I thought they'd explain at the beginning you know like oh this is how you punch or you know like maybe there was a certain technique but I was just throwing my fists with my acrylic nails and hoping for the best I thought I pinged one off and I just thought oh please don't be my actual nail like my whole nail that had pinged off but was still intact they're all good I'm all good and I feel really good and it was just so nice like like I say I've been in a like a small deficit uh, not every single day actually because I ate out quite a lot like I had my brother's birthday we went out I had so much cake definitely wasn't in a deficit those days definitely surplus and yeah I've eaten out quite a bit recently but I've been backtracking my macros and just feels so good to know sort of what I'm eating my intake and I think I went through a stage before I was tracking definitely wasn't eating enough and I felt just so amazing in my sessions lately and way more energized in terms of just overall like myself I feel you only literally feel lighter like from the inside out and I just feel so physically fit at the moment um so it's just so nice you know like when you've been working on both my strength and like cardio cardiovascular health and just being more active in general you really feel the rewards I guess from that uh, especially in a session like that like I felt it was so tough and I was literally dripping like sis my shins they're dry now but my sins my sins my, my shins were sweating and I know like that is do, I'm doing something intense if that is the case amazing start to my Saturday and I've just driven into Harrogate it doesn't really make sense for me to drive all the way home like I am actually living in the sticks I think I've mentioned this already on in some of my vlogs but I have been living in the sticks for a few yeah it'll be week, maybe two yeah weeks now and I've been really liking it which I'm really surprised at myself it's really shown to me how we can externalize so much you know how we th we think obviously I think environment is so so important however I think I've always said to myself oh god I could never imagine myself like living like out in the absolute countryside but I've loved it I love being in my own company and being around greenery and being at like a drive you know like a drive like a short 10-15 minute drive away from like a little you know where there's stuff going on there's cafes and stuff here but anyway yeah so I'm gonna go get my nails done I might grab a coffee and maybe I wouldn't find I would really fancy like a smoothie or something I had some oats this morning I didn't uh, vlog those but they were so good just walking down there's this place called Wheaton's which is like a, um, a food hall like kind of farm shop vibe so I'm just gonna see what's in there and grab something I'd like to find like a juice bar but I don't really know that many places around here my friend met well friend mentor I'm gonna call her she was actually my mentor like when I was in school and I'm gonna get her some flowers I think from here I'm so beautiful oh these are so pretty so I've got these for Mary who I don't know if she would watch this video but she's just the most amazing lady and literally deserves everything. <laughs> I'm gonna get something like and in the space of walking literally like 10 minutes oh hang on new nails I love them I think I'm sometimes I'm really bad at being a female and I don't enjoy getting my nails done at all yeah I get really itchy feet whilst I'm sat getting my nails done and I try to just be more present but I just get really fidgety and that's why I love going to I love the ones that use the drills I know they're not the best for you but they don't take two hours I just can't be sat there two hours if it's anything to do with my hair I absolutely love it but my nails 
think it's because both your hands are kind of like you can't use them or whatever so but i just got really hungry so walked past an m and i got some chili and coriander 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 king prawns very nice and then i just had some egg and spinach and some popcorn i kid you not that was within five minutes i was just really hungry all of a sudden i felt a bit like oh god i need to eat something just come to get my car cleaned it's actually not too dirty today but i just thought i'd keep on top of it i'm trying to make sure i get it clean at least once a week i love it when the inside it's so clean. So I've just been and got changed and I'm now on my way for reflexology, which is all in your feet. In case you've not heard of it before, it's like a Chinese medicine treatment and I'm really excited. I didn't know whether to go for reflexology or maybe acupuncture. I haven't had acupuncture in a few years, so yeah, just thought I'd go for reflexology. I've had it twice before and it's quite a weird sensation actually. Like the last time I had it done, I had those it was actually quite painful which is usually wherever you feel tension in your feet it's, it's like directed to certain parts of your body like the, certain parts of the foot uh, are part of I don't know if I'm explaining this very well but are part of uh, parts of your body and stuff so it's just super super interesting and the lady who I went to last year in Ibiza I remember her she was telling me actually she's helped so many women who have had problems with or difficulties with getting in pregnant like like issues it. with their menstrual cycle or periods uh, which I didn't even know was a thing but I'm just I would like some relief maybe from my lower back and just maintenance so I just I always like to keep on top of going for treatments and doing this bit of self-care like this is literally my perfect way like I love if I've ever got any free time or uh, whatever like this is my favorite thing to do I just love any sort of self-care floated to another dimension that was so nice like oh that was just an hour of I think it was I think we must have done about 90 minutes or something um I fell asleep in between and I was just like oh just so relaxed I feel like I've forgotten what I was doing the rest of today as well um but that was the most amazing treatment so reflexology I was just googling it because that was crazy so Basically, reflexology is the application of pressure to areas on the feet, uh, generally relaxing and alleviates stress. The theory behind it is that areas of the foot correspond to organs and systems of the body. So different areas of the, the feet are, are linked to different stuff. So like the middle of your foot, kidneys, adrenal glands. It's really fascinating. And if you're a bit skeptical, just don't knock it until you've tried it because that was crazy. So it should, there was... There was an area on my foot which she was touching, um, I think it was, uh, there were a few areas anyway that were sort of more tender and it's, and anyway she'd been massaging or whatever and then she'd left that area and I could, it was literally like she was still massaging on that point and it, it was it, oh, just the most bizarre experience and I sort of like, le um, not leapt up but I looked up and she wasn't touching my foot but it felt like she was touching my foot and it was just a really strange experience because you could literally feel the energy in your feet, uh, which was just really fascinating. And, oh, wow, no, just, I would really recommend if you're ever like in this area, this isn't even an ad, but I will leave her details uh, down below in the description because she was just the loveliest person ever. And it was at her house in her like studio area. It was absolutely gorgeous. And, oh my gosh, she's still so zen right now. But yeah, I'm gonna make some food. So I'm just gonna make a pretty basic dinner. Um, just something quick. I'm quite tired now, like I just want to chill out. And then I'm making these 
beef quarter pounders. I'm just gonna put these in. I'm obsessed with these at the moment. They're really nice. And I'm gonna grill these. They taste so much nicer grilled. So not the most aesthetic, but I've got two burgers, coconut rice, some broccoli, spinach, red onion. I put a little bit of cashew nuts and tomato ketchup. Literally so good. And one of my favorite things at the moment.